Hello everybody, welcome back to the craft room. <laughs> when I come on today, this is the second time. Um, you, I'm making this bag, right. I haven't copied anybody. Let me put it out there first. Because I was playing around and I came up with this bag yesterday. Oh, I am, this is the second time I'm filming this. I've done it all wrong. This was just my template. I've done this out of just a bit of paper and I didn't decorate it too much because it was just a sample one so I thought well I'll come on and I'll show you how I made this one so I just scribbled out some measurements and cut it out so you want two pieces of coordinating paper this is to hold your ribbon so I picked out this yellow because it will coordinate with the yellow that's in here. And this measures two and a half by four. And you want two pieces of that. And you want two pieces of 12 by 12. So on your 12, excuse me, I've got e cups. Right, let's get my score tool. On your, your, that's, going to be the top you've got diagonal paper make sure it's on the top and this is your side on the side you're going to score half an inch and a th three inches and you're going to turn it so it's on the bottom of your bag and you're going to score at two and a half okay so that's on that piece then you're going to get your other piece and you're going to do exactly the same so for the sides of your bag half an inch and three inches and then rotate it to the bottom of your bag and if you haven't got no diagonal paper that's fine you won't have to worry and you want to score at two and a half and that's all your scoring done on those two pieces then on this four inch piece put it in there and you want to score that a two and a half that's all your scoring done so i can move that scoreboard out of the way and i got to this part just now and i uh i have to st stop the camera because i made a boo-boo Fold that in half, give it a good squeeze down, get your ruler and your pencil and pop your, your ruler on and you're going to mark it at one and a, a quarter with a little pencil mark and then you're going to mark it up at one inch. And then you're going to go a one and a half. And then you're going to cut it from that one and a half to there. And if you don't feel very comfortable cutting, just make yourself a pencil mark. And then from this side, from your one inch mark to the same corner, the opposite corner, I mean. Just give yourself a pencil mark so it'll look like that and just cut it okay and just cut it up like so and go the opposite side and cut that side and you've got something that looks like that okay and if you worried about the pencil mark just fold it over the opposite way and you've got that and do that on your two pieces in blue peter fashion i've already done my two <laughs> okay and you get your 12 inch pieces of paper in and fold and burnish all your score lines give them a good crease down okay Hold the outside up. And this is a little pad. I think I had it from 
every craft a pound a long long time ago and i've never opened it so i thought it's very summery so i thought i will use this and i picked out a bright yellow ribbon for the handle which will go nicely okay so you are your two pieces and you're gonna cut up you've got a square and a little oblong piece you're gonna cut up your square to your score line and tab that out and then tab this side out and cut it at an angle on that side and cut out a little angle out on that end so you've got something that looks that out of the way during a minute you can see you've got something that looks like that okay and do exactly the same on your other piece so you're gonna cut up your score line to your score line okay oh, oh I turned it the wrong way dear oh let me I am gonna sellotape that down because you're not gonna see that let me sellotape that down see that's another boo boo I've done so many boo boops since I've been in here I shouldn't have come in here I'll sellotape that down <laughs> don't do what I've done Make sure you've got it at the side <laughs> and cut up your score line to your score line. Wedge that out. Take that out. And then cut up there. Wedge that out. Cut that to an angle. So you've got that. And cut a little wedge out of this side. Okay, so you've got that on that side. Okay, so they're both exactly the same now. Okay, cooking now with gas. Put them both together and I've turned them over. And what I've used to get that, get that mark, I've used top of a, my ribbon box. I've used this. You could use a plate, or you, could, if you've got a a disc cutter, which I have got, but I couldn't find it. Maybe I'm not looking hard enough. But there you go. But I'm just going to use this anyway, and I've put it halfway. I measure equally, like so, just to give you a rough. My dough on it so far down. And I'm just going to put in a pencil mark that is going to go there, right? I'll put the lid back on that before it all falls over the ribbon. But I'm going to cut it from this score line to this corner and come around. And I'm going to do it with the two together so it, you know they're going to be exactly the same. So I'm going to cut it from here. And I'm going to follow that pencil line now. Okay. Hope you can see. And then when you get to this angle, just bring it up and cut it up to that score line. Don't cut that score line away. Just cut it to that score line. And you've cut that away. Okay. So you've got that. And there you've got that. Okay. So now you're going to pop some glue onto your side tab. You could use tape if you want to, but I'm going to use the glue because I find it's stronger to hold it. 
and you could keep these folded flat until you're ready to put them together if you want make sure your bottom score lines is together and then if they don't match at the top you can always trim them but you can trim them from the bottom okay so you've got that do exactly the same now with this side so you're going to put glue onto this tab Plenty on. And then stick this side down. Make sure the bottom's matching. Like so. Stick that down. And when they're together. Okay, and then when that's open, if you've got a little bit hanging over like that one is, just trim that off to match your corners. I like so, and that's I think it's okay. Yeah, so you leave your folded flat until you're ready to use it, like so, or you can. Work out while you're on the front. Um, I think we'd have this for the front. So I'm going to pop the front down first. And I'm going to put some glue on these tabs. this tab okay and then I'm gonna stick these down first like so like that and then I'm gonna put the pile of glue on this side on so it's nice and straight and then I'm going to pick it up and put my bone folder in it there you go and there is, you've got the bottom and then with these two little tabs you've got you've made oh, that there just get your ribbon. I've cut off too much, but I just wanted to make sure we got enough. So I'm going to put my ribbon in. Okay, I just put my ribbon in there. And then I'm going to pop on, open it up, pop on some glue at the bottom and glue that shut. Okay. okay, like so, and then I'm just going to glue that in the inside to there, like so, if you can see, just like that, so I pop some glue on to the inside of my bag, so you can see. I'm just going to pop that into there, nice and straight, 
Get my bum folder. And just squish that glue around. Okay. So you've got that. And then get your other one. Open them up. Put your other side of your ribbon in. Like so. Close that up with a bit of glue. And do exactly the same to the other side. Pop some glue on the base of your bag, the sides of your bag, I mean. And there. And then give it a couple of minutes to stick in. Okay, so you got that. And then you can work out your ribbon, which I'm going to unwangle it now. So untwist it, like so, and then go this side. And then twist that side. You don't want it too much. And I'm going to put a bow in this side. If you can get hold of it, Jane. As I said, I got too much, but I'd rather have had too much where I cut off than not enough. But I'm going to put a nice bow in here. Two tails and then there, like that, and tie that like so. It's a bit big, but you come in now, like so. Never do one on camera, <laughs> never goes right, like so. And I'm going to add some tails and I'm going to cut it with a snake tongue. Don't waste that bit of ribbon, I'll come in handy for something else. And a snake tongue on this side. And then put it in half. And you've got your ribbon and your bag. And I'm not going to put too much of a decoration on there. Because I think the bag does itself. It's patterned enough. If you know what I mean. But it's a beautiful little gift bag. I mean you could glue those two together. I might put a glue dot. I might put them together. I like the next style. I'm going to put a glue dot in there and glue them together so put a glue dot on there and put them together like so that's pretty that is pretty I like that so you've got that bag and a load quite a bit if you go like that like so. That is pretty. And I might make a flower or something to put by there. Oh, I have made a little tag to say hello. It just says hello. And I'm going to thread it through the handle. So, just 
tie that in a knot. Like so. Cut the access off. Like so. And there we got a tag as well. And the thing yellow is the handles. So there you go. I hope you like that. And that'll be in my monthly giveaway. Another bag for bag Sunday. So I hope you like that and you give it a go. If you do, please share. I'd love to see what you come up with. Now you make it. And uh, thank you all. Look, everything, everything I've touched today. And uh, let's put my pin back in my glue before I clog that up. So I hope you do like that and you give it a go. So please share. And I love to see what you make and what you comes up with. I'm looking at my body thumb. I started it and uh, caught my thumb. The cat scrammed me and it's scrammed me down here and up right through the nail um, a couple of weeks ago. And it won't kneel, it just won't kneel. And you guarantee I'll catch that thumb. And as I was doing this, I caught it and then I started bleeding over everything. So I've had to stick this plastery thing on it but it really sore it is but uh it was my fault i was trying to put her collar back on her and she don't like to be touched my cat she's a fussy bugger so uh that was one then i done the scoring upside down back to front so i binned that then i um hit the jar of sticks all over the floor so martin come and he picked them all up for me love him so uh, that was another thing then i dropped my phone then i done something else i don't know everything i've touched i've dropped or it's over or whatever so i hope in this this film is filming or oh, that'll be another disaster <laughs> never mind it's all sent to dryers, I suppose. But I hope you like this bag. And stay <laughs> stay safe wherever you are. And uh, I'll speak to you on the next video. So thank you all for watching. Take care and speak to you soon. Bye for now.